So we're just out in the field today checking on the crops, seeing how good they are, uh, checking for weed control, stuff like that. Uh, anyway, uh, what the heck is going on there? I don't know, the robots are taking over. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna do some scuffling in organic soybeans. Most of the soybeans at this point are, are past the stage of doing any more scuffling. But we got a couple of small fields. They're kind of low, wet-lying fields. Uh, they were planted later. And uh, we're gonna be able to do a bit of weed control in there, which is great, because uh, it gives me a chance to show you guys some of the super cool stuff that's in this tractor. We're in the Case IH Maxim 125 Pro today. And this tractor is my scuffling tractor, my planting tractor, row crop stuff. And uh, it's got lots of hours on it. It has, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, 10,000 hours on it. This tractor has pulled its weight on this farm. Uh, we use it a lot. It, it helps out with other jobs too, but it is here for row crop work. It's outfitted with tons of technology, and when we get into the field, I'll show you. So here we are in the field uh, with the 125. As you can see, it's set up with skinny tires pushed close together so we can run in between the rows. And behind it here, we have the scuffler. And it is outfitted with a camera on it that can actually see the rows of soybeans on there. And then it transmits it to a computer in the cab and it can side shift it back and forth and keep it in between the rows. The teeth are like a Dutch hoe. They, they only slice underneath the surface they don't really lift and turn the dirt they will a little bit but not very much and then the finger wheels they'll flick around the root zone of the plant and try to flick any weeds out that might be in there now this field is already fairly clean but if you look you can see a little bit of green in there Anyway, let's just get at it. Let's get it running and we'll show you how it works. So here we are in the field watching some of this cool stuff in action. That tractor is driving itself right now. GPS guided, RTK, cell signal, camera on the scuffler, keeping it in between the rows. Awesome stuff. Get into a bit more detail how it works. Camera mounted right there. Takes thousands of frames a second relays the information to the computer, which then relays the information to the side shift on the back of the tractor and keeps everything in line. So I'm, I'm driving kind of slow so I can show you how this stuff is working in here. I'm showing you the scuffler on the back of the tractor, a little bit on how it works. I'll get more into detail on that in a minute. This is the GPS that drives the tractor right here. There's a GPS globe on top of the tractor. There's also a wireless internet modem down there. There's actually Wi-Fi in this tractor, yes. And all these things communicate with each other. So when we plant, we, we make a line on the screen right here. And then it will repeat that line across the screen and it will keep this tractor within one inch of that line, bang on every time called RTK. It's very accurate. It then relays the information to the steering wheel. And you can see the steering wheel is turning itself. Now this is a retrofit on this tractor. You can purchase tractors now where it's all integrated into the hydraulics and, and, and into the interface on the computer system and everything. It's a retrofit on this one. Um, it's just 
we've built up to this point. This tractor, like I mentioned before, has many hours on it. It is due for an upgrade uh, and eventually we'll, we'll get into something a bit different. But there's probably more money and technology in the cab of this tractor than there is in the actual tractor itself. So then we got this monitor and it's controlling the scuffler. So if the tractor leans or rolls or anything like that through variations in the field, it will keep the scuffler in between the rows. That camera that I showed you relays the information to here. It tells it to go left or right and it keeps the scuffler bang on the row. So why do we do all this? Why, why do we have all this technology in here? Well, one of the main reasons is operator, operator fatigue and operator error. We're cultivating so many acres that we physically can't stare out the front of the tractor for that many hours a day. Uh, you just, you start to get a headache. Uh, you, you, you can't focus anymore. And uh, no matter how good we are as humans, uh, we're not gonna be as accurate as this stuff is that's operating on its own. As you can see, the scuffler, what it's doing, it is slicing underneath the dirt. The finger wheels are right up against the root zone, getting in between all the plants. Now I know people are going to say, well my dad or my grandpa, he used to row crop cultivate and he drove it by hand. And I've done that as well. Uh, I didn't start like this. I didn't have all this technology when I first got going. But as the acres increase, like I said, we just can't do it anymore. Uh, we need this type of stuff. Uh, so we use the Smokeser, Smokeser, I don't know how you pronounce it exactly, Scuffler. We're very happy with it. We're, we're very happy with the build of the design, how it works. We, we like the parallel link system on it. We like the side shift system on it. There's other companies that make other side shift systems. I think they work okay. Um, but this one, the weight that it can carry and how it moves side to side and the dealer, uh, Schulten's Machinery that sells them are absolutely awesome to work with. Uh, just the all around package is great. So anyways, that's a bit of how it works. I wish I could have shown you more. Uh, with the time that we started this channel, crops are already up and growing good. Stick with us, follow us through a full season. You'll get to learn so much more about how it works. And we will talk more about how we got these plants to grow as good as they are, the, the products that we're using, the techniques that we're using stuff like that. I hope you enjoy this type of, of content and see how, how modern farming works. Uh, you know, uh, there, there's lots of ways to farm. Uh, the way how we do it uh, on a bit of a larger scale seems to be the new norm. Uh, you just can't squeak out a living anymore off of uh, 20 or 30 acres and you gotta farm hundreds if not thousands of acres depending on what type of crop that you're growing and uh, farmers are evolving and they're using technology to their advantage this is a perfect example of, of some of the most highest tech technology that's out there right now but this is old school practice scuffling in between rows is stuff they've been doing for years upon years uh, and we're bringing it back, but we're incorporating lots of new things into it. Uh, this is going to be a short video, uh, just to give you an idea of how this works. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, share, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time.